We can finally do the other half of the duplex. We have our permits so we can get started, and I love this area because Talbot Street is close to downtown, and it's seen a lot of revitalization, including quite a few homes that we've done recently. Okay. So we're getting the hang of this neighborhood, and it's proving to be a good place to invest right now. And it's currently identical layout to what the other half but was mirror before, image? But mirror image. Okay. It's two stories, so you walk into what's a living room, there's kind of a staircase dividing the okay. living room from what's probably the dining room. Okay. And there's a kitchen on the back. The bathroom's like wedged in behind the kitchen. And then there's upstairs, like when you get to the top of the stairs, there's a room to the left and a room to the right. And I think the thing to do on this to create some variety in what we put on the market is to make this one a little bit more compact and get a three bedroom out of it. Right, yeah. gotcha. Considering our investment for this half of the duplex was only $15,000, it'll be nice to maximize the current floor plan, which should increase our buyer pool. Ta-da! Well, this is fabulous. So this is just the living room, and it'll stay the living room. We just have to clean it all out. I'm so distracted. There's so, there's so many things. Yeah. Lots of VHS tapes, files. Who has VHS players anymore? Books? All kinds of books. CD. This is not a CD player. That's out. <laughs> So, living room, dining room. Why do you have that on? It's not that bad in here. There's a lot of poop on this side. I don't want to breathe in the poop particles. Okay. So, we'll have to keep the staircase where it is, but it can be living room up there, and then kitchen can kind of L around. And then And then a in. dining table in the center. Okay. Because this side, we're going to do three bedrooms. Right, so we have to have a bedroom down there, yeah, and then so two more upstairs. master back here. Okay. So, do you like how we kind of go uphill? Oh, uh, yeah, but I like this wainscoting. Into Can the we kitchen. channel that? <gasps> Look at that cool door, Mina. Super skinny, super tall. Uh huh. There is so much poo in a box in a tub. Well, that's interesting. You see? I don't want to breathe the poop particles. Okay. I had this idea, and it might not work at this house, but seeing this door, you know how long I've been collecting doors. Uh huh. We should make a fence out of doors. Sand them down a little, make them color, different colors. Sounds a little Beverly Hillbillies. I can't hear you. It looks it, I can't little... hear you in there. Mm -hmm, okay. I can't hear you. <laughs> so that bathroom can all get gutted. So this space will be an ensuite. It'll just be a small one. OK. All right. All right. And then back here is the addition that looks more like a shed than a house. Is this going to come off? Yes. Look at the, they made a wall out of doors. I know, it's super cool. That doesn't look funky, that looks awesome. That's not a fence, that's a wall. Yes, I know, that is cool. We could do the same thing with a fence. No, I, I think it'd be cool for a wall. I'm not crazy about the fence idea. All right, let's turn it into a wall. We got so many doors. Okay. She didn't say, we don't have time for that, and she didn't say, that's interesting, which both mean no. I don't know what K means yet, but I feel like it means no. Dunsies. Upstairs. OK. There's two bedrooms up here, but we'll need to find some space to add a full bath as well. Hmm. This has had some moisture. At least there's not a lot of trash in the room. Look at you looking on the bright side. We got a bedroom. Not too shabby. The last bedroom is down here. I'm going to do it Mina style. This room has good light. Yeah, well, the other hot room had uh, boards up on the door. Oh! There's nothing wrong with that. That's a perfectly good futon. It's, it's brand new. Wow, well, I want to be faster. 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 That was anticlimactic. This house, we cannot go through the middle wall because the other side is pretty now. Uh, so he's going to have to try to be less of a disaster than he just naturally is. Woo! Perfect. What did you do to help him do that? Because I didn't said, pay. don't mess things up or I'll cut you. <laughs> I think I mean, James is a little afraid of me, which he should be. Yeah, he should be, because sh I think she would cut him. Just a little, you know, just with the, take the blade out just I'll a little bit. I'll paper cut you. <laughs> Don't do that again. You ready? 
Always. Let's go. While we're working on the interior, Tad and Corey are going up in the cherry picker to take down the nasty siding that's still on the second story portion. How many times have you operated one of these? This is my first time. First time? Yeah. It's like an elevator. <laughs> this is so high, dude. I don't know. My hands are starting to sweat a little bit. We're going to be at the top of that. Dude, we're so high. Yeah. I don't like this. Wow. Terrifying. Completely terrifying. It really is. Oh, Toey. Oh. That adrenaline from good stuff. I'm not even gonna look. Yeah. I'm just you do the demo while I, will, I guide I you. I'll go so quick, Toey. I'm just gonna be plastered yeah. to this thing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You just hold the controls. All right, get me closer. Um, hold Tad'll on. do what Tad'll do. I thought being at a cherry picker basket would make me feel a little bit more at ease, but it's not. I'm feeling woozy. Yeah, we're, we're not going down. If we go down, Mina's gonna make fun of us. That's a good piece. Ah! Woo! Woo! Up we go. Easy peasy. The outside of that corner, yeah. Thanks, Jim. Hello. Oh, we have a bedroom. I was worried that putting three bedrooms in was going to make them too small. And I think this is a lovely size. I bedroom. think we're great. We got yeah. the ensuite downstairs, these two in the bathroom. This is awesome. The third bedroom, it's going to appeal to a different kind of buyer compared to the other side of the townhome where it was two bedrooms and a little bit bigger. Have you guys checked the, the hallway measurements and make sure we'll have 36 after drywall? Uh, no, I haven't, but I can. Okay, I'll hold this. I went with the walls that were here. Well, we're at 37 inches. So if we have half inch drywall, bing, bang, boom. This wall is going to be fatter because it's was gonna be an inch and a quarter. fire rated. Oops. Well, there's a problem. You think that uh, inspector's going to put a tape on that? And... Yeah. Womp, womp. This is what the code people like to do. They'll come in for the final inspection of the house and say, this looks a little skinny. I'll put a tape on it now. And then make us move the whole wall with all the electrical and the drywall and the trim. So although I am 100% Debbie Downer today, it would be better to be Debbie Downer today than when the house is done. Because moving the wall 3 quarters of an inch now is super easy. Moving it 3 quarters of an inch later, not easy at all. We don't have a choice. Move it over 3 quarters of an inch. All right. I'm just going to go now. Bye. Should we start at the bottom or should we start at the top? Now, to move the wall over, we have to cut all the nails that are securing it to the ceiling and the floor. Then hammer it over 3 quarters of an inch. That should be about it. And nail everything back in place. All right. You're at 38. Beautiful. So what's next is Mina's going to tell us we did something else wrong. Is that what's next? No, we need to get we need to get the outside wrapped. And then there's just a little bit more interior framing. And then we can start getting the windows in so it's closed up. And mechanicals. Mechanicals. Whoop, whoop. So we're almost done. Back at the Talbot house, the foundation issues have been fixed. Framing has gone up, drywall is installed, and the guys just finished hanging those pretty gray kitchen cabinets and installing the butcher block countertop. How is everybody? Now Corey's called us over to help solve an issue with the sink. This is pretty. Well, Ooh. that is the sink we were going to use. Why aren't we going to use it? Well, due to unfortunate timing and being able to source a farmhouse base, we got a regular sink base, which means this apron on this farmhouse sink is nine and a quarter. You know how we fix this? Tell me. Our sinks need to be higher. Mina hates it. Why do you hate it? It's a crumb catcher, for one. I can see that. What do you mean it's a crumb catcher? I just. Well, you can't, like, just wipe stuff off into your sink. When I get a farmhouse uh, sink base, we can totally use that. But we can what use about, this, like, here? this guy. That has a more shallow um, oh, arm. Oh, where's that? Base. Yeah, that's nice. And it's got the um, self rimming lip, so you have a little bit more play with oh. the butcher block. That's so pretty. I know. I mean, we can keep it to use it in another house where we have the correct base. I want to use it here. So wait, let me see your tape measure again. 
So it's just gonna sit up this much. We're gonna have to like jerry rig something up to support underneath it. Sure. Well, I don't have a dog in this fight. Yeah, you do. You're the one that has to install it. Put that one away. Let's put that one up there. Why don't we just use I the white that's... one? I want to see what we have here. I've already found a perfectly good sink that solves our problem, but for some reason, Mom is insisting we try out every sink in the room. Is that one? Yeah. That one won't fit either. Get that off the wood countertop before you scratch it up. All right. I... We all on board for the white sink? Yes, white sink. OK. I would like to discuss what color you would like this butcher block. I like it natural. You like it natural? So you want me to just oil it? I mean, I like it light. OK. I'm going to take her out of here. I don't, I don't know how to get out of here. There's things all in the way. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. All right, thank you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Door. Door who? When we were doing demo, there was an addition that we took off that had like a whole wall made of doors, and it looked really cool. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Uh-oh. Aren't you glad that I gave you the right dimensions? Oh, Toey. It's the wrong angle. Wait, knock, knock. I got to finish my knock, knock joke. OK, who's there? Door orange. Orange. Door orange? Orange. Orange. Aren't you glad I didn't say door again? Yes. But I'm not glad you didn't cut it at the right angle. I'll tell you what, no problem. Problem solved, we'll just a little piece of trim. I do like the way these turned out. OK. Which way anyway, I'm spinning it that way. That The raw edge goes to the hallway. In my pocket, I have the drawings. This is 23 and 3 eighths. Oh, dang it. I know what I did wrong. What? I didn't measure down 23 and 3 eighths from the ceiling. From I measured piece? down 23 and 3 eighths from the top of the door. That's what I did wrong. <laughs> I know, I get like that too. It's OK. But we can hang this one, mm -hmm. and we can hang this one, and we can hang this one, and then we can take a piece of paper, and we can draw a template for the, the last piece and bring it. I did not throw any of the other pieces away, so we may be able to cut the pie shape and make it perfect. If not, we have the other part of that giant door, and we can just slice off the bad angle, make it, I don't know, eight inches wide, and put the other door in there. And I think. We need to put a screw in here somewhere. I think it's oh. through there. Just count a second. Nice. That felt good. That felt really good. The doors are about 90% done, but you can already tell how nice they're going to look. And they add history and character to this otherwise pretty simple space. Once that gets patched in. And that gets put back on. I think we're good. All right, let's get out of here. All right. I love this blue. It stands out so much on the street. Oh, that's fantastic. And landscaping, this is great. We don't have to do too much. I know someone's happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's all very low maintenance. Do you guys want to go check out the inside? Yes. Right, come on. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. The blue continues. Yes. And these floors love the hardwood. This was the living room. It's still the living room. It's a much better looking living room. But it made sense. The first place you walk into is your kind of public living space. And we did keep the staircase where it is. But to make it a really cool staircase, we did a nice handrail and then this wood door wall. Before we renovated the house, there was a wall made out of actual doors. So this is our homage to that original wall. How cool is that? You want to head back to the kitchen? All right. That'd be great. So here's the kitchen. Oh, wow. Love this island. Perfect for like breakfast in the morning with I the know. kids. And the island isn't permanently affixed. So if you wanted something different, you could have something different. Yeah. If you didn't need the prep space, you could do a table and easily get four chairs around it. So before, this was living room. This was kind of dining room with the creepy bathroom and then kitchen on the back. So we pulled the kitchen up to make room for the first floor master. I love the backsplash. It's very clean. The lines are very clean. So again, with kids, it would be easy to maintain. So I love that. It's not huge, but I think we fit a lot of cabinets in. And with two kids, I feel like 
I just have one and I have accumulated a lot of things, so. Yeah, cabinet space is definitely important, and there's some additional cabinet mm -hmm. space over in the corner, too. Yes, nice little guy. Which would help, yeah.